Welcome back, everybody. Northwest Whitfield head football coach Josh Robinson couldn't wait to coach his son out on the football field. But less than one day into his son Paxton's life, doctors were trying to save his life, let alone his football career. News 12's Brian Armstrong shares us their story of overcoming the odds and the bond that football could bring father and son together. When I married my wife, thinking about, okay, one day I'm going to have a son and be able to coach him. Northwest Whitfield's head coach Josh Robinson dreamed of coaching his son Paxton out on the football field, but then his son was born with a genetic disorder. When he was first born, he actually uh, died. They're not sure how long he was he was gone, uh, resuscitated. They had to paddle him back to life. Um, and this is 12 hours after he was born. Paxton was treated for three weeks in Vanderbilt's hospital. They did some special brain cooling stuff on him to reduce the brain damage that they thought might be there. Uh, and Lord willing, none of that has came to fruition. He lives a perfectly normal life. But Paxton did more than just survive. Early on, uh, the doctor said he would never play anything, said he wouldn't go to public school, he'd have to be homeschooled. And, and we've been very fortunate about him dealing with his genetic disorder, and um, he's kind of proven the doctors wrong. All that meeting Paxton and his dad, Josh, were able to walk onto the field together. He's really excited for me, and I was really excited for him because we just want to win. I mean, it's all it comes down to in the moment. A lot of happiness because, again, there was uh, many years um, where we didn't know, again, could he even go to school, let alone play a sport. And now we're thankful um, he's part of the basketball team, he's part of the football team. At first, I wasn't even supposed to be playing sports at all, really. But then my dad taught me to overcome it. But with Paxton's genetic disorder, he needs IVs when he's sick. Josh says he's probably different from most parents because he's happy his son is part of the football team despite that genetic disorder. I know what value football can provide any young man. Um, you know, every parent wants their kid to be a star or a starter, and of course I would love for that to be for Paxton as well. Um, Paxton, I think, is going to get to play for us, but um, at the end of the day, I just want him to, to be a valuable part and understand the, the lessons that football can teach anybody that they're a part of. There's benefits and uh, downs because if I do something wrong, he'll get me in trouble and everything, and then, but if I do good, I'll, I'll just play like I do normally. Josh says he has high expectations for his son, but he had to learn his son's limits. There's going to be a few more limits that other young men don't have. And uh, as a coach, maybe that was a little bit, took a little bit longer for me, but I've coached him hard his whole entire life in all sports that he had. Uh, and, and I'm just fortunate that I made adjustments and I grew up and became a better dad, I think. When it happened, I was kind of shocked because I thought it was going to be like really bad the first time. Like I ever picked up a football or ever picked up a basketball, really. But then everything just changed once that happened in my life. It's been amazing. And they both know their father and son as well as coach and player. I walk by him and make a joke. Hey, you want me to give you a hug or stuff like that? And he tells me to shut up and go on. So it's uh, it's really fun. Um, he knows I love him, but at the same time, he knows out here I'm not his dad. I'm his coach. I tell him to go away sometimes, but sometimes I just have to deal with it. It's my dad. He trolls a lot.